Hey, welcome to Blue K Jazz Dance in the Blue Lab. This is my space, my creative space that I use to develop, train, meditate. Blue UK Jazz Dance. At the moment, I'm doing my longest project called Rebirth of the Cool. And that's giving people an insight into my legacy of leadership. And that legacy of leadership has evolved through me being given a legacy of leadership by other people who have been involved in the creative culture industries. I'm a self-taught dancer. A dancer who does many styles from grassroots, black, urban dances, dance hall dances to Western dances. My aptitude to engage in dance and the arts as a bohemian, as an artisan, as an artist came from my mother, came from my father, both bohemians, dad Jamaican, mum Grenadian, Dad born in 1935, mum born in 1942. From my brothers, from my sister, from my community peers where I lived. I was born in 1964 in the slums of Manchester, area called Mosside. This was the UN. Basically, <clears throat> the culture diversity in this area <clears throat> was the most culture diverse of any place on the planet. And there, a whole host of ordinary people shared their extraordinary social arts therapy, their dance, their music, the way they survived and thrived within a deprivation area. They shared their skills. People went around living harmoniously with individuals within the heart of Mossad. And it's important as me as an artist is to make sure that the legacy of that period, 60s, 50s Manchester, 70s, 80s, how people evolved from the slums and what they did and how they developed what this call I call today the legacy of leadership, legacy of leadership in empowering, enhancing social, physical, intellectual, cultural, emotional, spiritual development against the greatest hardships needs to be shared. What's important, I realise when you talk about legacy of leadership with others, there's no point you as an individual talking about the legacy of others if you don't identify your legacy in it. It doesn't show self-love. It's important people understand this. We've been trained to have self-deprecation, to talk about other people's legacies before your own. It's important you talk about other people's legacy alongside your own legacies, particularly in the time of globalization, to particularly in the time of free gentrification. For example, all the inner city areas around the world are being reclaimed at this moment. And re gentrification has strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. The threats are the people, the local people's history is being wiped out of the face of the earth in the communities because you find there's less people coming to your communities that have an allegiance to the original people that were there and actually what they're doing and many individuals are studying what the local people did and using them in their businesses so all over the world what local people did grassroots people did they don't have knowledge of the benefits the legacy of benefits, achievements, benefits, contributions, developments that they brought into communities because many people don't end up at universities like myself studying the arts, studying business, <clears throat> studying arts and community. What happened in the arts and community in my area? Think about jazz, for example. The musicians created career employability for themselves. The dancers, the tap dancers, created career employability for themselves. So, for example, individuals from outside recognise this and started to create tap schools. They started to do research. Mm, we could create a tap school. 
these guys invented it. But what we can do, we can capitalize on it. We can exploit them. And that's what's happening. A lot of artists are new. What we have now in the UK is the new art centers. The new art centers are not employing many blacks and Asian minority groups. Do you understand? And what they're promoting is black and Asian minority culture. Getting substantial money. Got directors, got managers, coordinators, administrators, and we are the least black and Asian minority groups, the least in it. But it's our culture that's dominating the presence, the popularity at the moment. What is it? Three style arts is the number one art that's being promoted at the moment, okay? You have the wider arts institutions. Now, the wider arts institutions are now including three style arts before they debased it. And then what's happening is problems, challenges are going on because diversity is not coming in the educational system. We're getting blocked. Blacks and Asian minority groups who developed these art forms are the least to be teaching them art forms, the least to be coaching them art forms, the least to be mentoring, producing, directing, writing. I could go on forever.